Hey guys, happy 2021. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you tips and tricks to be able to accomplish your language learning goals. Last week, I posted part one, where I told you guys five tips. And today, I'm posting part two with the next five. I recommend you to watch both videos that way you're going to be able to achieve your language learning goals. Before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe, that way you get notified whenever I post new language videos. My sixth tip is to use optimistic wording when setting your goals and thinking about them. Because even if you don't reread them and you're just writing them down once, you're kind of in a way imprinting it into your brain. And if your brain realizes that it's negative and that you don't feel confident that you can achieve it, then it's going to have a negative tone, which will make you feel less motivated to achieve that goal. So I recommend you that when you're writing it down to use optimistic wording. So you can search up online and there are a whole bunch of examples, but a good example would just be saying, I will be able to have a conversation with a native speaker by the end of the year. Something like that. So I will, not I might, maybe, I hope, I will. I can do it. Number seven, this might be pretty obvious, but make sure that you're learning a language that is right for you. You know, do your research beforehand, ask people that are learning it. I don't know, do what you need to do to be confident and to really know that that language is good for you. Because I know a lot of people that maybe started learning a language because it was cool or because their friend was learning it or because they just liked the language. And then after a couple months, they decided to quit because they don't like it anymore because their why wasn't shocking. So my eighth tip is a full immersion. So this is my number one tip in general for learning the language, but specifically for accomplishing your goals, it helps you in two ways. So number one, full immersion is living like a native. So you're gonna be able to do a lot of fun things in that language. So you can be listening to music, watching TV shows, reading books, watching movies, all of that, which personally that excites me. Being able to watch a movie in another language and being able to understand is super cool. And then the second way that it helps you is to be able to see like your progress and see how much you're improving. Because a lot of people make the mistake of trying to evaluate their progress by using online tests or doing things that aren't very exciting and don't really allow you to see progress. But if maybe you use full immersion and you watch a movie, then you can really see how much you're improving. If you watched the movie a month ago and you didn't understand any of it, and now you kind of get the overall idea, and then in two months from now, you're gonna be able to understand half of it, like you're really gonna be able to see how you improve, which can be very motivating. And when you want to accomplish your goals, you really need to be motivated to learn that language. Number nine, don't be afraid to make mistakes. This one is so important. You're learning a new language, so of course you're gonna make mistakes. I'm sorry, I have to tell you, but you're gonna make mistakes. So just get that into your head and then don't be scared. If you have the chance of speaking with a native English speaker, do it, take advantage. Even if you make a million, a bajillion mistakes, you're gonna learn so much from that experience, much more than just sitting at home, reading books, you know, writing down grammar stuff. Like just take advantage of every opportunity you can get and just don't care about making mistakes. And number 10, have fun. Oh my God, you guys, learning a language is so much fun. You learn so much about the world, about yourself. You're gonna be learning a new language. You really prove to yourself how awesome you are and you're gonna meet such wonderful people. So enjoy the whole process. I know, like I said before, there are a lot of ups and downs, but just really enjoy it. And if you're at that down part and the negative, just think about the positive, think about what's coming and think about that. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Just a reminder, I have part one in the information icon up here and in the description box down below. Comment down below, what is your target language for this year? Don't forget to like and subscribe, that way you get notified whenever I post new language videos. Let's make 2021 the best year yet. Bye guys.